Hi everybody, welcome back to Honestly KDP. This is Laura. And today, as you can see, this is going to be part two of my puzzle slash activity book series, where I show you how to create some of these puzzles to include in activity books right within Canva. So this template, I think I originally got in Canva. Um, and then I used it for some activity pages that I created. But now when I'm looking for it here, they had several templates available, but now I can't find them anywhere since they did their update. So what I'm going to do um, is because I already have this uploaded here, I'm going to share this template with you guys um, just for my listeners here. I'll include a link to this template down in the description. Um, this is a 12 by 12 grid, um, depending on the age and everything, you, you can have more or less. Here, this is really editable, like each letter you can select, um, you can change the fonts, um, add more words here. If you wanted to, say, make it for adults, you would probably have a 15 by 15 grid, so you can just extend this. Uh, maybe, you know, copy three rows and paste them on the end to make sure it's centered again. Everything is centered again. Just select it and move it over. Um, you know, and then you can add those rows and then move these up and add the rows going up. So you can always just edit that, but Right now, for this example, I'm just going to do this 12 by 12. Um, they're also, if you go to Creative Fabrica, they do have insert look up word search. Um, they do have a lot that you can download. I would still edit them. You don't want to use an exact book, you know, and just upload it the same as everybody else. Um, they also do have here. I've noticed now quite a few listings where you can get. Um, a list of keywords for a specific niche, you know, word search for kids, find the best low competitive niches and keywords. Books, one option is if you purchase a um, puzzle making software like this. Um, this is one that I have purchased. I have the Puzzle Book Mastery and Activity Book Mastery. There's a, quite a few options, word searches, word matches, word scrambles. I'm gonna do a separate video on these, so I'm not gonna go too far into it, but that is one of your options. They do have a sale right now, um, $37 for lifetime access. And here's a little secret if you wanted to buy to like both of those, um, the activity book mastery and the puzzle book mastery is once you buy now on one of them and go through, at least for me, when I got through to the page where it showed my um, purchase, they then had um, an option to buy their other plans for like $27. So um, instead of paying the full price, the full 37 for both, once you buy one, it um, at least when I bought it, it gave me an option to buy the second one for $27. Um, and I, it may even have had a third one for $17. I think that's how I ended up with like four of their program. Um, or um, you can just use the template that I'm going to provide the link for down below. And then I have here um, the solution. Also, these I just put like a gray box behind the correct answers. You can remove those and put circles or you can just edit the colors or do whatever you want. These um, behind there are also editable. You can make them shorter, make them longer, turn it, however you want to do it. And these are some that I just created for these um, activity sheets that I'm selling on Etsy. So I didn't put them into a book, but um, this is another option. So yeah, when I started KDP, I kept with that for like a year before I started selling on Etsy and other places. So I would just concentrate on that at first. But then once you've done that, um, you definitely have an option to, um, or if you're good at multitasking, <laughs> just go ahead and uh, start selling on Etsy as well. So here, what I would do to create a new one, I think that themed word searches are more interesting than just general. You can just do general one, just look up, um, I think there's like a random word generator. So if you wanted, you can just select how many words you wanted here, 12. Sorry. Okay. So here you can filter it by, if you want it less than a certain letter size, like if it's for children, you can say, you know, less than seven letters and you'll get the smaller words here. And then you just 
these over here. And then um, another option is um, the chat GPT. So if I wanted to do a themed um, word search, I would say, you know, give me 20 words related to Christmas. And some of them are going to be two words. Some of them you might not want to use. So um, that's why I said 20 when I'm only needing 12 words. So I always just copy and paste the ones that I wanted to use. Um, you know, you can put the ones with two words. Just don't put a space in between them for the word search. But um, other than that, you can use the other ones. And then you can just copy and paste those directly here into these spots. And then try to find... Um, you know, spots to put them up here. So for example, um, let's take the word reindeer. Not sure if I did that, there we go, reindeer. And then I would put it up here. And then you move on to the second word. Um, just make sure as you're getting more and more words on here that you're not accidentally crossing over one of the other words or deleting a letter from another word. What I do once I have all of them entered is I go through and find all of the words um, to make sure that they're all still here. And here you can change this. It doesn't even have to say word search. You can say puzzle one or whatever you want to do and then have the solutions page and put solutions and then put a little puzzle one right here uh, again these templates used to be in canva i don't know if they still are somewhere um, but i'm going to give you this one for free and this another thing too is you can change up this frame so um, if you wanted to make the border thicker thinner um, if you wanted to round the corners you can do that and then you can just throw in, uh, you know, some graphics like uh, either get them from Creative Fabrica or right from here. Um, so just put maybe a little bit too small. Oh, Santa Claus up here. Co totally customizable. Again, um, I'm gonna include my te uh, link, my template down in the description, and I hope you guys have fun. Again, you can use to create the words. You can use the ChatGPT um, or random word generator if you just want random puzzles. Uh, it's randomwordgenerator.com, and ChatGPT is chat.openai.com forward slash chat. You do have to sign up for an account, but it's just free. Um, there is a pro plan or a plus plan here, but the free is fine. That's it for today. Um, that is part two of the puzzle activity series, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.